Hi friends, someone wrote uh, a person named Kevin, Kevin Box on LinkedIn a post about uh, most people have no clue how to handle a toxic leader. But let me read his theory and share my experiences. Okay, according to a recent study, 56% of employees have worked in a toxic environment. But he didn't put any link for that, right? And uh, 30, 73% say that working under a toxic manager led to a traumatic work experience. And the third one, toxic leaders are hurting company growth and uh, pushing top performers out of the door. But how do you navigate the chaos of a toxic leader? In this matrix, so he provided some screenshot and uh, <coughs> solutions. Matrix, I show you the 10 of the most toxic leadership styles and uh, what do you, what you can do to handle each. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. One is micromanager. Majority Asians or uh, um, Indians or uh, this category. Credit hog. Blame shifter. Inconsistent leader. The bully boss. Place favorites. Overlay critical disconnected leader, egocentric and unethical. And also you said, uh, what would you add to this list? Tell us in the comments. So those who are watching first time, my name is Kumar, channel name is Kumar exclusive and please like, subscribe, comment and leave your comments. Um, that I bought in Canada, the one you see on the wall. Canada is for Canadian dollars, PR. Canadian citizenship, then finally life doesn't end there. Many try for TN visa to work in US or apply for green card. US means green dollars, green card, US passport in Indian context. So many are mistaken, oh, excuse, sorry, <coughs> that uh, uh, leaving, fleeing India will save them, uh, what do you call? Save them from the bad managers or bad work culture or rupees. India means rupees. One dollar is 84, approximately 83 to 85 Indian rupees. So whoever in US, they earn 82 or 83 times higher than the people in India. Purchase power parity, you need to see the right tax and the expenditures, whatever. Coming to these toxic leaders, I worked in a bank earlier, the micromanager, he put an alert on uh, Skype when I log in 2016-17. He gets the message. So he managed that level of micromanagement. And he has a cashy person, he has a hotel, restaurant. He works there most of the time. And uh, IT job is a part time for him, <coughs> though it is full time. but. Sorry, excuse. That's so. And uh, some locations, even in India to start, uh, the person name is KP. Okay, is a Tamilian. I'm a Telugu guy in South India, Hyderabad. 8 a.m. I am I'm inside the office. 6 p.m. is cutoff time. Unfortunately, in India, people think the long hours you work, you are the best guy. That means you have to leave the office very late. If you go on time, other peers also look at you and cry. Why are you leaving early like that? So I read a book during my graduation, don't say yes and you want to say no. So the, I know what is my limits, right? So while I was leaving at 6 p.m., he used to give a work, his work, right? Which is supposed to give at 8 a.m. Till then we have handled tickets and other projects and other stuff. Then uh, used to say you have to finish it tonight and go. What do you do after going home after at 6 p.m.? Every day is used to ask like this. And I said, you fucking bachelor, I have a family, spouse and kid at home. I have my own life. What the heck are you asking? I thought of say this, but since professionally, right, we don't use the if you seek a word and heck, right? I said, uh, see, Mr. KP, this is not the way it is. You should give at 8 a.m. what you want me to do. 
I am also a human being, right? So most of the weekends, myself and another colleague, I don't want to name here. So he also came on weekend to do the hub room cleaning, something like um, cabling. I don't know. Then he removed, then he used to come at lunch and then give a map, mapping the network cables. Some kind of torturing is there. So that hub room is not neat. We want to maintain ISO standard. It should be like this. Remove all cables then struggle to connect which PC goes to where, right? That's one and uh, then I complain to the, his boss. Uh, then no, no, nothing worked out. It doesn't work out like that because management support always the criminals, right? Whoever do crime. So one day he went to Coimbatore, his native place for a weekdays. So there is a lab, Microsoft lab, first time on the outsourcing lab for Exchange server to test it. They have a sophisticated lab in the inner floor. I, I, I'm also supposed to get the access, but he is such a guy, he doesn't want other team members to have access. We have access, access card, but don't, his instructions not to go. So there was a system or network problem, I have to go. I wrote on the security and I went inside. And I finished the work and I went home. Then he called me on my mobile cell phone. In India, Indian managers are motherfuckers. They do not have any basic ethics. There is nothing called personal and office. If you give office phone, you call, that's fine. But if on my personal phone, you motherfucker cannot call after work hours. And even the personal work time also. How can you use my personal mobile for work? So that's what uh, these Indian motherfuckers office may, who are in the hiring managers. Then I said, you can't, uh, what, what is the issue? Why did you enter Microsoft lab? Then I said, there is a system problem. No, network problem, you should not go. That means he has to come from Coimbatore and fix the problem. So he banged me an hour. <coughs> there are two Tamilians Sorry to use it. Fucking Tamilians hate fucking Telugu people. So I use the fuck for both, right? So, full hatred. Then I complained to my manager. Again, she is a Karnataka speaking woman sitting in Bangalore. She called him and told, when it is vacation, you fuck enjoy your vacation, don't fuck Kumar. One time they told. So that is how Indians are at during vacation also they fuck the subordinates at the work location. Okay. Another uh, VLSA company I worked with a CEO direct report eight months. Okay, eight months, one year, whatever. In my lifetime, I never come across good, honest HR managers. Very rare one in Godrej and. Um, Mm, one in one company is uh, very nice. He came from Deloitte, and uh, I never expect he's such a good guy. And uh, another uh, lady, her name is Sri Devi. She offered me fifty thousand Indian rupees those days as a job in their company. They started a company, but in non IT, so I didn't go. And um, very few are there. Only me in my lifetime. Maybe five people I come across. Uh, apart from working, work 10 years in India, working almost 16 years here, 26 years, plus before that IT also. I've never ever come across good HR. All worst ladies, worst men are occupying HR positions. Sorry if you are an HR out in India, I'm talking. The VLSA company, ATM again I entered. Two in a, Midnight past 2 a.m. I left office every day because that is a Canadian based one. So working in India and Canada time for 8 hours pay and uh, nest it merged into US, right? So from Canada also people uh, write emails and working. Uh, nobody said leave. If I leave they cry or shout whatever. But if I come yesterday morning late, so you used to ask why are you coming late? What is the problem? 
Nobody asks what time you left. But if you leave on time, it's a crime in India. So finally, that HR there I come across is a Karnataka guy, rust fellow. So everybody played at that. One director is the cashy person. So he called me to his room and banged me. You have to BCC him, it seems. Every email that you send to CEO. And I said, sorry. What is this, sorry? Can sorry fix this problem? Oh my God. <clears throat> That's I don't hate cashy people, but many cashy people in the hiring managers are motherfuckers. They have no mercy, nothing, man. Hmm? That person name also KP. KP means Krishna Prasad. So, finally, I put a letter there and I left the job because my spouse and little son, month, six months old, got fever. I have no choice to quit the job to take them to hospital. So, finally, I quit. And uh, that's how it is. And in government, uh, he's a, you know, I'm not against any and downtrodden or Dalis or SCST, but my immediate supervisor caste is SC. He hates all other caste people. You see, again, I am a human being. I know I treat all people equally. Muslims, Christians, Dalis, all at work also, outside also. Right? Still he hates and my first son was born in uh, uh, hospital right at that time I have to go and I'm waiting for him to tell and go I can go and put a letter and go but for courtesy sake he said ah, bah, 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 bah. when I ask sir I want to go and my uh, I got a news baby born like he shouted like that in the evening he said go what kind of fucking motherfucker tortures man his name is Bhaskar. Okay. I don't really understand why they don't show sympathy. In 2016, US, that one, I all I said, Kumar, what do you want? Why are you confronting with me? Because you want $25 out of my 75 and world number one bank. Then I said, you never said thanks in an email after doing lots of 12 hours a shift. Three months on call he put because he is not getting his bribes from my ex-employer. You never said thanks. All I expect is a fucking thanks man. Appreciation from you in the business email. That's it. What else I need? I don't need any extra money, right? So that he never said. He is always scolding, abusing in front of another junior colleague on women, Carolite, Christian. How humiliation. He asked technical questions in front of her after three months or whatever about sand, storage. Okay, I will give sand work from tomorrow. What the fuck you give? He you, you, you wants basically $25 an hour. This is how Indian managers, either men or women, they made entire US work culture toxic. It is like putting a poison in a drinking water supply in a community. Like that Indians are there. It is not just only managers. Some colleagues, women colleagues also like that. Some American women project managers also like that. And um, one Ohio I went uh, on, <coughs> sorry, an interview. So he is from a Chinese American, I think. He, I, he, I cannot understand his English. He cannot understand my English. Or my English, if you are able to understand, then it's good, right? He speaks like that and I could not understand. And he gave a laptop and he grabbed it and uh, he asked me to go out and sit. By the time Prime Minister came and what happened, then I don't know what is he talking. He asked me to sit outside. And I came out. Then. Uh, before going for interview, that person said, this Chinese American is uh, failing many candidates, but his boss is close to them. I don't know what way it is close. So, some uh, Asians are there, but I come across a very good Chinese American manager in an NYNJ1 project in 2011 to 15. He literally lost his job for fighting my salaries, man. 
for fighting for my salaries. So, because I was an illegal American vendor and my ex-employer did not pay salaries or overtime at that time. Then he said, unless Kumar get paid, he won't assign work to Kumar. Kumar will sit at desk. Is what he wrote in the business email. For that they fired him. So, that's how it is. Some are good or there, but majority bad. I don't know whether Indians are bad by birth or the blood is corrupt or DNA is corrupt or human beings are like that when they are occupying these uh, hiring manager positions. And also in America, if you want to hit a job, you need to have a skill set, primary, right? Technology jobs. Otherwise, connections. Otherwise, Indian model. Caste, uh, then uh, casting coach. Like removing all clothes and sleeping with hiring manager, <coughs> any gender, Indians, I am talking Indian methods, and then caste groups, and uh, pro the next one, fake resume, proxy interview, proxy support. So those who don't know caste, caste is ill-treating the fellow human being as a sub subhuman. Every religion has caste, but in India, Hinduism, Five major caste, 25,000 sub, 25, sub caste. Each caste guy in the hiring manager wants his caste people to hire apart from taking 25 to 65 dollars an hour. Indian outsourcing companies, delivery managers, HR managers also insert layers and they also take money. That's how they're becoming rich here. They're buying houses here and back home houses. This nobody tells on any platform anywhere. These caste groups formed. Uh, groups, caste people formed groups. Each caste they elect a president because they have tons of money, like um, maybe billion trillions. I don't know. Somebody, someone has to dig in and expose. These are all non-profitable, non-taxable, and uh, they eat money. They fight and uh, they hire people on the basis of caste at caste groups meetings. It is to eliminate Americans, eliminate other caste people. They want their caste to grow. And uh, this is a poison and a threat to America's EOC model, Equal Employment Opportunity Diversity, and uh, that destroyed Americans' lives in America. In fact, one guy wrote online appreciating me, saying that he wrote 10 years ago, our Indians molested America especially Andhra people, Telugu people he wrote, molested the USIT market. Kumar good, um, kudos to you, heads off, continue your crusade. That's what he wrote. It's there on my blog. So that's how Indians are uh, um, made IT recruitment hijacked to India. Most of the recruiters they call, what is your immigration status? If you, say, if you say any immigration status, they hang up. So they, I don't know whether they are looking for an immigration candidate or a can, right candidate. I don't really understand who trained them. So IT recruitment is completely hijacked to India. From India they operate for $50 is their monthly salary. So their bosses train them like that. And they hire only by caste, their region, the language people. So that's why Americans are not getting jobs. That's one. And the video is about toxic culture. This is how Indians made America worst work culture. But people in India think that work culture in America is great. Yes, great provided your boss and your H1B petitioner is an American. It is great, your life set. Otherwise, it's my statement in courts. The worst work culture in India is better than working with Indians in USA. Even the women Indian colleagues also, many are very dangerous. They do a reverse complaint, saying that you are harassing him, harassing her like that. So you lose job, career, everything, fucked up, right? So that's how many Indian women are here like that. Because they enter through fake resume, proxy interviews or backdoor entry, like outsourcing companies, L2, EAD, they enter without any interview. They don't do any work, they do sari business, all the fucking business. They show cleavage to uh, Indian hiring managers, they spoon feed the hiring managers. This has happened, FBA fired 150 people in one butler bank. So that is what Indians are doing here. They're so people are rushing to America like left, right, center and illegally. 
to get jobs to get dollars and uh, make work environment toxic and also start indian restaurants at work location they work so one girl doing sari business and another f1 boy or h1 b boy doing uh, running a hotel restaurant this is what so this what is the solution you have to avoid indians avoid indian recruiters american recruiters you contact and uh, in india 3 months is the lease it seems lease or notice period try to break it like going to america for study something tell a lie quit and say in the company if boss is bad <laughs> sorry if company is also bad and uh, same thing in america but in america 2016 to 17 you lock up with h1b man uh, h1b petitioner broker say don't come out if you come out uh, you, you lose immigration status but the hiring manager corrupted guy will say go out and corrupt toxic right so in those context you cannot live if it is a green card or us citizen you just throw and go to another project right but always search for projects don't stick it uh, on one particular client location or one work location earlier one guy uh, hindu converted christian one recruiter was with me for a decade he ditched me and many of subscribers and he fled away that guy he told us one candidate when he got a job he didn't join he got a green card he told a lie his parents or someone died in india and he changed he didn't join the project he told that guy ditched him but this guy, the same recruiter ditched me also right when become an ex employer or layer 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 in a project later i realized um, you have to tell a lie like the candidate Uh, you should not tell where you are going to the next project either in india or here because the employers or the companies will tell will sue you because that pers- that client also their client something like that one girl it happened here one girl came to me woman okay kumar i told um, accounts manager where i am going then i said why did you tell no 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 i want to be honest doesn't over coat like that then uh, she was crying at the desk then i said what happened so the accounts manager called the hr of the next or uh, next job saying that don't hire because that also their client got it right so then i told why are you so honest i told you don't tell you should not tell where you are going for the next project because uh, the vendors here Uh, um, petitioners here or if you changing employer also like um, they will screw up your career and life they will call the other party and then tell a bad about you or by saying that um, don't hire if you hire i will sue you they will say that and they don't give a offer letter right so never ever tell always tell a lie going to india and quit projects there is a best way to cheat uh, Um, vendors here because the vendors always cheat you right tell a lie because if you tell truth like me people will ditch you so always tell a lie going to india and then uh, don't resign if you don't like the other project you can come back right tell a lie going one week break or something like that after that you resign right some people wrote from india of, about the relieving letter you don't need a fucking relieving letter man just send an email take a print out so it even if it is us visa consulate interview in india show them this is my last working day something like that they didn't give a, that company is bad they didn't give any relieving letter something like that but i have resigned so this is a proof so keep that email good luck i think i told you a uh, couple of few points whatever i would like to communicate in this video See you again in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.